I think the big story is that he's pursuing us. And anyone who would watch this is only watching because he's in pursuit of them. If you're really going after the Father's heart, I mean, <laughs> what are you gonna find? You're, you're gonna find the most loving person in the universe. But you don't learn him as a shield until you stare down the arrows and wait for him, maybe at the last minute, to come up and protect you. The arrows are coming in the sky, but will you trust him enough to wait? We make deals with God. We're like, God, if you give us more power, then we'll go. But you know what? God says this. He says, you go and I'll give you more power. There are people who are perishing, and all we have to do is have confidence enough to say, do you want Jesus right now? I'm giving myself for the one thing, the one thing that's worth giving myself for in all of history, in all the world. One thing worth dying for. I'm here doing it right now. Jesus didn't heal the sick to prove that he could. He healed the sick to prove that we could. He did miracles to show us how we can live our lives. Faith is one thing, but I think relationally trust almost goes beyond faith. You're totally free from accusation and perfect in Christ. He put his blood all over, he shed his blood to make you perfect. Look, is Jesus real or is he not? Is, is the Holy Spirit real? Is the Father God, is he real? Is, are they gonna come into the room when we say come into the room? Can we, can we come? May we lay hands on it. Ouch. It's a demon. You want it out? <laughs>